Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up SMTP to go with your NS700 as an alternative to the Gmail service. If you haven't got an account for SMTP to go, stop the video, click on the link in my description below and watch the first um, series of this video. It'll show you how to set it up. I'll put up a link somewhere on this video. So log into your NS700 with your installer credentials. While you're waiting, just hit the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise things may not work very well. Once the system's loaded, over on the left, click on Network Service, Client Feature, and then number 6, SMTP. You'll see your current SMTP settings, in this case it's Gmail. If it's blank, just follow the steps in this video. Before I make any changes, I want to go see if the emails have been failing as the customer has reported they haven't received any emails in a while. After you've clicked on the hammer, go to Utility, Report, and then number four, Email Report. Wow, there's been many failed emails. They haven't received emails for a while. Since when? Wow, so according to this, they haven't received an email since 2021. They've told me they've asked their previous provider to fix their emails a few times, but I didn't think it was this long ago. Looks like the latest attempt is still trying to send. Let's head back over to the gear. Then back over to the SMTP settings. Let's leave that there. Let's log into SMTP to go. Remember, if you haven't got an account yet, my link's in the description below. Just create an account, watch my first video, and then come back here. Reason being is we won't be going through verifying a domain. We'll be assuming you've already done that. And that's covered in the video I'm referring you to. This is the dashboard. On the free tier, you can send 1,000 free emails per month. And if you need more than that, you can just update to the paid version, which isn't too expensive. If we head over to the left hand side, send in SMTP users. These are the current users that are set up on the account. If you go down to verified senders, this is the domain that's allowed to send emails through this account. If you haven't done this yet, just refer to my first video. Let's go back to SMTP users and let's create a new user. On the top right hand corner, select add SMTP user and just fill up the blank fields. Make sure you don't make the credentials easy. If your equipment allows it, just make sure you can put some symbols in the password. It makes it that bit more secure. I usually leave the rate limit unlimited. As I mentioned before, you can send 1000 free emails. But if you find your equipment is sending too many emails, you can limit the amount of emails the equipment sends per hour, per day, or per month. You can just play around with it as you wish. Once you save it, now it's part of your managed users list. If you forgot to copy the password and the username, you'll have to go back into it by clicking the username. Copy the username. Let's go over to the Panasonic, paste it in the username field. Then go back and copy the password. Click on the I to reveal the password. Uh, 
and then last thing the new SMTP server the port you can keep it the same as it's one of the ports listed as supported you'll need to change the mail address to be in the same domain that's verified on against your account so to check that again you go to verified senders and if you haven't got anything in there you got to follow my first video So you can change it to something like voicemail at and the domain that you've verified. Once you're happy, click on apply or OK. And then just wait for the super quick system to save your settings. Let's head back over to the SMTP2GO dashboard. So far the count is sitting at 20 out of a thousand. So let's go back to the system, hit the hammer, utility, email notification, and then test email. In here you can enter your own email address so you can send yourself a test message. If you do receive this email, then that means your settings are correct and are working. Okay, that's accepted. So let's go back over to report and then email report and see what the status is. And well, there you go. System hasn't sent an email since 2021. Customer will be happy. Let's go over to the SMTP2GO dashboard hit refresh and you should see that counter go up there we go if you go to activity on the left hand side you can see the emails that have been sent out there's our one at the top so it's been delivered fantastic let's head back over to the Panasonic there's one more area we need to change the email which I do forget sometimes click on the gear Click on UM configuration, then click on system parameters and then parameters. Don't mind me clicking on mailbox group accidentally. Then click on the arrow on the right hand side. Then click on email options or email option and then change the mail address at the top. If you don't change that, emails will be rejected. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll be hanging around for 5 minutes to answer any related questions, so answer away.